hello. <laughs> Sorry, I said hello, and my dogs are, well, they're not the sharpest dogs in the drawer. But, yep. Sorry. So, um, other day I started on this envelope journal. Um, I had a video, but then I listened to it and I thought, oh my word, it sounds like I've been drinking. And it never got any better. And it was all bad and... I wasn't on screen, I was down here, and it was just all bad. So I decided that we would just continue in this. So I made this little envelope journal. Um, it's inspired by, by several people, inspired by Rachel at Roxy Creations. Um, I think Gail Agustinelli, she's done one. Um, Boy, Pam at, at the Paper Outpost, she's done one. Um, the, oh goodness, the, the gal at 507 Willow House Journals, she did one, a flippy, outy kind of journal. And that's really where I got this idea as far as. It flipping as you can see there's has valleys valleys and then the hills so I think I'm gonna put in four small signatures in this and we'll go from there so on this first sheet as you can see I've already collaged so I'm gonna use some of Rock's Creations paper some um, old book page. I am pretty sure 1863, that's what it says right there. I'm pretty sure that that is not from this book page is from. It doesn't feel raggy enough, so um, and there's also a date up here that says 1848, so I know it's not. It's old. It's just not that old. Uh, this piece of paper right here came from the graphic fairy. It was um, the free image a couple Fridays ago. I do have their premium membership and I would highly recommend it because you can get all kinds of good, cool images and kits and, and things from them. Um, the page that's inside the envelope or the window envelope is actually a book page. I must have had that open on this end. Because it's Oh, yep, there we go. Let me get my ruler here. Um, oh, goodness, I'm so sorry. There she goes again. Open that up a little bit. I'm not sure why it's... I'm going to say it down somehow. Um, anyway, what's inside here is a book page, and it's from a botanical book. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I'm so sorry. Let's see. I don't think it's on this. This is what the book looks like. It's very pretty. Um, I use a lot of them. It's, it was a hardback book. So I may have the actual hardback, but it's very easy to tear out individual signatures and put them in, into books. See, like this one here, you can easily take your scissors and, or a knife. A knife would probably be better. Go there and just, just snip, snip those little strings. There we go. And this is how you take books apart. Um, and then see, then you can just pull that out and put that in a journal. And it's and this is really good quality paper. It's not an old book per se. This looks I don't know. It's fairly new. Um, 
but I use it in, in many of my journals. I mean, just a couple pages out of, out of it for this. Um, if I am sounding a little more slurred of speech, today isn't necessarily a good day, but it's a good day to video, and I really need to relax and wind down and do some crafting. So we're just going to cover these little envelopes, and then we'll move on to the actual signatures. Um, now, I don't like these little bits on these envelopes. I think that it makes putting stuff in there difficult. And I am going to put something in this one because it ha it's nice and wide. And I'm going to make it wider with my 2-inch punch. Just put a little divot in there. After, after, after I add <laughs> the cover sheet. Because otherwise then I'm going to have to cut paper out. And, well, what a pain in butt that is. All right, so I kind of sort of want this page to match. I mean, not necessarily match, but at least at least go. So, sorry if I'm bumping you, making you wiggle. I put my scrap basket, which is overflowing, um, back in its place. And that's where I have my camera set up on my iPad. Okay, so this is part of this. This actually came from the top part here. Um, so I could use that like over here. We're just going to do some collaging today's and do a little visit do a little collage it'll be fabulous all right so today i'm using the scotch create glue um again i am still trying to find my forever glue stick each glue stick that i have used and i've used a lot i i have uhu glue sticks down underneath my my um table for keeping glue so it's just really whatever you like to use um the create I, it seems like I have a tendency to get it on, on the page and well that's never a good thing. This piece of paper looks like it's from Roxy Creations. Just love her. She's one of my faves. Um, yeah, let's put this like right here with maybe some washi down the middle to wrap that around and that'll be perfect. We need a new glue sheet because that one I got glue on. And I haven't been crafting today, so that's got to be from whenever I initially did the first video on this. All right. Like this top part, so let's just put it right there. And wrap it around. And I think on this side here, right here where the two meet, I am going to... I'll put some washi, the same here, or maybe some foshi. I got some of the um, tape digitals from the Graphics Fairy, and that would be really cool down the middle of that on either side. So I'll just keep this close, not on the, not in the three, the cart that the camera's on because well I don't know I don't want to make y'all seasick. Ooh this is pretty blue. Um let's put this like right here. That looks like a good a good thing. I think I want to just put that up there. Measuring well not gonna lie, I don't like it. I used to be a scrapbooker, and I used to make greeting cards, and I and I sold um, stamps, and 
and everything was very precise and very just very and I really really like the fact that I don't have to measure anything sorry my little dog is growling for I don't know what Maggie Um, I have a Jack Russell, a Belgian Malinois, who is an ex-service dog, and, well, she doesn't like him, she doesn't like Yangos, I don't even know if she really likes herself, so, there you have it. <laughs> Alright, that looks actually kind of good, it's kind of a good fit, well, apparently I am too. Ooh, that would be really pretty right there, it's really big though, isn't it? I'll try putting that on something else. Um, what's this? I kind of like that, and that would fit right there. I'll just tear it. I have a little ruler, so I don't have to bother with my big ruler. Oops. I suppose I should have it actually on my mat. It, it tears better. There we go. I'm going to keep that. That has some script and... Well, I don't know if that was only a smidge bigger, I could put it right there, but, well, it's not, so. Why cry over spilled milk? That's what my mother used to say. Don't. Ooh, that's a pretty set, too. Um, hmm. Put it like this. Sorry, my hand's a little twitchy. I'm twitchy. Voice sounds like I've been drinking. Which, well, I haven't. It's that whole, like I said, tumor in the first video that I made. See, this craft create glue, create strings. It's like working with, um, oh, glue, st or not glue stick, glue gun. Get all the strings and it gets really bad and you're trying to clean it all up. You look like a mad person. Somebody that needs to go to the maybe to the hospital. Um, I know these are olives. They do. The color does kind of go with them. Um, I have multiple rulers. Just really depends on what kind of look I want. What I'd be going for. I think with this, tear a little bit more off the top there. around this. I don't ink. I don't always ink because, well, it takes time. It takes coordination for me, which I have zero. No coordination. None. None. There are days that I feel like I'm a drunk sailor on it. A drunken sailor on a ship. Trying to find a my clean spot here. See, there's those strings. I know you probably can't see them. I'm going to go up a little ways because I really like this medallion on that shoe paper. All right. And I have a card. Here we go. I'm going to put the lid back on this. All right. Let's grab. I had one and I like Ooh, let's use this one. This one's a nice one. Don't think that if you get a premium membership and you print this out on the clear vinyl sticker paper for inkjet or they also make them for um, laser printers, don't think that you're just going to get in there and tear it because that is not the case. Tell me. You actually have to cut it. So 
that over there. Put that back in my scrap box. Those little tiny scraps and the I have a, another basket like this over yonder and it is for um, like book pages just like those little tiny strips eventually what I will do is I will stamp use my label stamps and stamp them all right let's put this right here try to make it straight there we go and seeing what that will do that will strengthen that and um, you know that's just a bit a little bit of color I'll have this tied so it, the fact that it's not laying flat then bother me any all right let's look to see what else I have in here Which little girl was an old tore up. I'm not sure what happened. I probably spilled water on this, and that's what why I think I'm gonna put him over here. Excuse me, I had to get a drink. Um mm. well. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Let me just tear this right. Now. Oops, or not. Or not. See, the hoarder in me, the hoarder of paper, really wanted to keep that little piece of paper. Okay, we'll put this little, put this little guy right over here. Okay, I know I need a new paper. By doing it this way, you use a lot of glue paper, but I have a lot of books that are just for this purpose. Um, I would say I got them all at my Goodwill, my local Goodwill or second thrift store so you know supporting supporting that habit for those all right well that's got to be cut off really like my big scissors i know some of you will ask where i got my big scissors these are actually actually sewing shears they're 10 inch shears i love them I saw the Tim Holtz ones, and I thought it came in 10-inch blade, but it doesn't. I think it's long as they are 7-inch. Well, I'm glad I didn't get them. I got the little, these little scissors by Tim Holtz, and I normally like his stuff. Um, but the scissors are serrated, and I don't really like the serrated scissor. I think it's only serrated now that I look on one side. That one side is enough to be naughty for me. So, you know what I forgot to? I forgot to start a timer. Oh my goodness. You guys are going to be stuck with me forever now. Um, oh, here's some... Oh goodness, some... Florentine paper. I really like that one, Tim. So, I think I'm going to put it up there. I don't think I'm going to use a whole, whole sheet. Or as much of a sheet as I was looking like. I'm going to tear it like that. I love Florentine paper. I'm not even sure why it's in there. I have a envelope somewhere over here that has quarantine paper in it especially the smaller sheets um i'm not sure why love me some florentine paper though it's pretty and some of it comes in there's like foiling 
some of it, but all of it has this really nice, oops, glue goop, or goopy glue, really nice cream side to them, so it's really nice to use as um, book pages. So I do, I do. I do use it quite a bit for that. All right, there we go. Okay, I just need oh, two or three more sheets. Um, what about what about this bit? This is a paper bag. I was using it as storage for something, and uh, obviously I'm not using it as storage anymore. Um. But this wouldn't be bad on there. So let's just tear this. Up. I hope I'm in. Hope and pray that I'm on the screen. When I set it up, this was on screen. But you know, I was over there on that cart wiggling things, so I better check. Yeah, I'm still on screen. All right. I'm going to put this right down here. Oh, oh, good Lord. Oh, heavens. Well, maybe that'll work. Oh, yes, that'll work out okay because we've got little Mr. Rabbit paper right there. No, it doesn't go all the way over there. But, uh, I guess I could use. I'm just going to use my scissors because there's a tear there and hopefully there's no birds harmed in this video. No paper birds anyway. Okay, I'm going to cut his body off. No, that's rude. Do I want it up here? And then I could probably have the whole bird. Ooh, that, that sounds like a better idea. All right. Put it there. Put those in the scrap paper. Put the rulers over there. All right. This glue stick is almost gone, but that's all right. I have some Elmer's school glue. It's one of the ones I like. I just happen to have this as leftover, and so I'm using it. Again, I don't know that I really like it, because, well, I'm sticky. But heaven forbid I throw something away, because I don't like it, because, well, you know, that's kind of a waste now, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to put this one here because, well, why not? Put that up there. Okay, I don't really want to cut her feet off. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter if you don't know what they are, do you? Does it? They don't fit. Why, yes, sorry, Billy Bob, it sure is. All right. Oh, and I can make that go all the way down. Do I want that bottom part, though? I think I do. So, I need to put this right here. Put the ruler right here. Make sure that it's at least a little straight. Or not. Whew. Apparently, that was a lot harder than it should be. I'm just going to fold this in half. I don't know if I didn't fold those other ones in half, but um, I didn't. I'm really hoping soon this glue stick, it's almost over, see, will be done. And I can quit using it. Because again, it has those strings on it. And if like I'm, I'm a mad person. 
Not as an angry mad, but as a mental mad. Well, I might be mental, but that's beside the point. We're not talking about that. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. Then see what all goes up with this along, I don't know, maybe along there. Okay, let's see, what kind of other papers do I have here? Sorry, I'm gonna be moving you because I've got I've got baskets and baskets and baskets of images. Isn't that a cool image? But it has Chinese writing on it. I like the writing too. Oh goodness. There's a little moth that was in here in my papers, eating it. I don't know where I got this. I love the, I love that book page though. I love all of this. Oh, this may have come from. No, it's German. Hmm. Well, that's German. That's English. I'm not really sure where I got. Sorry. Oh, Florigium. That's where it came from. Came from the book Florigium. Oh, that's interesting. I never noticed. So, one of my favorite people that I use their um, digitals from is Medieval Mirage. This must be an image on a public domain because she has this image in her stuff and I only know that because I was working with Odyssey recently and she had these interesting that's kind of cool okay I think I'm gonna use the colored one what else do I have in here kind of like that too Obviously, I think this one here, I am going to go for, ooh, what's that? It's a cool circle. I'm not sure where I got that from. Maybe we'll put that on here. This, I think, came from, from Florigian. No. I'm not sure where that came from, but I love that, pa that the painting. I... Do not claim to be an artist at all. That's pretty painting too. There are there are several artists that I just love. Um, Monet and um, Vincent Van Gogh. I like his stuff too, especially Starry Starry Night. Starry Starry Night is one of my favorites. Okay, I have to stop now. I'm going to be going through all of this, and y'all don't want to watch me do that. Okay, so I'm just going to put this over behind me. Lord have mercy if you could see my craft room. There, it serves multiple purposes. It's my closet, it's my office, it's my craft room, it's my sewing room. Um... It's my leave me alone. I'm in my own space room. Hmm. I think we all have those. I like that paper. We'll use that paper too. All right. Sorry. I'm going to bump you. Sorry. 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 Okay. So let's do that. That can go in the book page basket over there. You know what? I really think I might only have to use this one sheet. Because it's so big. But I like it. Well, on the bottom here, I don't have to. I don't have to put anything on the bottom because 
I wrap around. So, but on the top, I need a little bit more over there. Um, well, I really like that piece of paper, that tape. I'm not going to use it. Um, a book piece. A book page right there. I got lots of book page. Lots. Lots and lots and lots. Oh, good. I was hoping. No, I didn't wrap anything else around, did I? Sorry, I know. Remember, just starting out, I'm trying to keep everything at least above this. But that sometimes just doesn't happen. I have washi tape. I was using my camera or my phone for a while, and my phone let me have like it. What? Like foot by foot square, and I just not have enough room. What happened to his book page? But I just had and tore it up. Oh well, I threw it in the trash. Apparently, I didn't want to use it. I don't know why. It's a nice piece of book page. All right. Uh-oh. See? Who's that? Yuck. My bag blew everywhere. On my fingers. Oh, lots on my fingers. God. Bless it. You know, so... I have issues, texture type issues with touch. You know, I don't like glue on my fingers. I don't like anything sticky on my fingers. Lotion's fine. Um, but, you know, just things like that. They just kill me. So, I'm a licensed nail tech. And guess what kind of medium I use? I don't use acrylic because acrylic is harsh and fairly horrible on your nails. I know all those... All y'all that, that do acrylic nails are going, ah, that's not true. Why are you saying that? Well, y'all need to do your research. Because, yes, yes it is. And for people that do gel and say, well, your nails need to, to breathe. Seriously, your lungs do not, or your fingernails they do not have lungs. So how is a nail going to... Ooh, this is really slick over here. Interesting. Sorry, squirrel. I have lots of squirrel moments. That's why me and Jack Russell Terriers get along so well. I think they have lots of squirrels in their lives. I have lots of squirrels. Just one of those things. Yeah. But, so, I do gel nails for a living. And gel, it's sticky as all get out. I mean, when, when the powers that be said, oh, let's make something extra sticky. They immediately went to gel. Like, oh yeah, gel. Gel will be awesome. It'll be just so fabulous. Cause it's so sticky. I just don't understand why. It has to be so very sticky. Let me just take just squidge off that. And then we're going to put this down there, and that's going to strengthen that that, hin that hinge there. Oh, no. All right, there we go. Mm. 
Now I know that my hands look pretty good right now, but don't expect them to always look like this, y'all, because, you know, it's like the carpenter that needs new cabinets built, new floors put in. Their house is the last to get it. Well, my fingernails are the last to get it. I am trying a new product out, and we'll see how that works out. If it works out the way I'm hoping it will, I'll always have nice nails, and it'll be amazing. So I'm just taking my bone folder, creasing that a little bit better, running it over the fold, because this is watching to buckle a little bit, but... I'm kind of okay with that. That's so pretty. I'll put a pocket here. Um, and then some of the signature here. Alright, and that's white. What I'm going to do is I, you know, have this dress ink will work. Just so it's not so blindingly white. That obviously is going to be like make it where it's not. But I'm just not white yet. I'm not going to worry with that right now. Alright, now I'm going to come in with my two inch circle punch and punch a divot right here. So we all know that that is a pocket. Add some more ink way down so it looks good. I could have added another piece of paper in there, but y'all, I just didn't want to. It's just one of those things. I just didn't want to. Okay, so this envelope is going to be a pocket, and it's going to be a pocket here. Um, so on this pocket, I am also going to remove these little side things on the envelope because they just get in the way. Just get in the way. There we go. Well, I think I might have got that crooked. Crooked, crooked, crooked. It is what it is. Alrighty. So I'll put like a pretty, like, no, not this, but I'll put a pretty card in there because that's a little, that one would have looked so cool in that one. And I made the pocket up here and not on, on the side. But oh well. Okay, so this one here. Wait a minute, that is not the one I was working on. So many sheets that need to be worked on. Okay, so I'm going to be working on this middle one. I think on this one, I am going to... Well, no, because he's not going to stick out very far. He's so cute. I like the... The parrot came from Roxy Creations. And this is um, Blue Fern Studio paper cardstock. Um, this little tag and maybe this little tag too came from AliExpress I'm thinking because it doesn't look like a Foxy a Tracy label anyway alright let's cover this let's just cover this in one single bound that look good don't you think I do for this one I'm going to measure it because I'm going to use my cutter because well because I can. It's really what it boils down to. I can. So, this envelope is... I need to cut... Three and a half at it plus a tick. Three... Well, let's measure the length. Because that would be better. Let's see a really good ruler. Alright. So, now this envelope is eight and a half inches. All right. Easy peasy. 
So this side over here is kind of plain, so I'm going to cut my chunk off on this side. So we need to do eight and a half. Well, do, or do we want to go nine and wrap it a little bit? Let's, you know, let's cut it to three and a half plus a tick. So three and a half, no, is that three and a half? No, it's three and a quarter. Three and a half and a tick. So now I have this scrap just added to the pile. And then let us see. I don't think I want to go that way. Yeah, this way looks better. So I could do this this way. That would be nice. And then wrap it around. Let's do that. That would be fabulous. Okay, I'm going to use the big book. And we're going to use purple goopy Elmer's school glue. You know, I really think that the heat has something to do with it, with this. Because when it's cold, you know, it's fine. Of course, I could have a heavy hand. I know that when I'm writing, I have a heavy hand. Everybody's like, what do you wait for? Oh, no, it just seems right. All right, so let's put this, oops, right here. Let's not stick it to anything but the envelope. And then turn it over. And then you see I have a little bit of this already covered. And... I mean, don't get me wrong, I like this lot and all, but it's probably not one of my favorites. Sorry, I keep reaching over, but I have like a little, a little shelf unit here, and that's where I put my cards. Because if I put them on my desk, they're gone. I'm going to lose them. Yeah, that's kind of nice, and so then I could put... Oh, that looks nice in there. And see, that closed up the bottom. Sweet. All right, but I am going to take this. Oh, I wasn't going to make this pocket with it. No, I'm, this one here, I'm going to make it. Never mind. Okay, so I am going to try and maybe... Ooh, look at that. That almost fits in there. I should probably put it in right side up, though. But this side isn't nearly as nice as that side. Well, what I could do is find... See, this is Tim... This is Rulers by Tim Holtz, and I absolutely love it. Sorry, I may not be on screen. I am not used to working... Here. And I'm tape videoing. I don't really want you videotaping, you know, my where I'm sitting, my chair and stuff. Okay, that will probably work just fine. Right like that. Yes. Okay, and then I'll add I don't know, a little piece of something. Why don't we just make that a little bit, a little bit bigger down there. And then I can add, I don't know, I got, I got a buttload of uh, book page over there. I'll just glue this. Again, I don't know that I, I haven't found the perfect glow stick. I found one that smells really good. Um, it's an Italian brand and it smells like clothes. Oh, it smells so good. So good. I can't remember the name of it. It's on my Amazon, on my Amazon list. Um, which I have not created a thing for you all on there. Because this is my, this is only my second video and... 
Well, I'm sorry. It's one of those things. I just haven't gotten to. Because why not? In junk journaling, we can do whatever we want to. However we would like it to look, we can make it look that way. Oh, God, the glue, it's so goopy. So goopy. this up and let's put this in all its goopy glory down here. Yeah, see that looks pretty that looks pretty nice like that. I don't really want to put well I guess I can untear it later. Alright, so I did not cut this here very good. So, y'all, I have to tell you, I'm so excited. My, one of my ins, my, my, th this person inspires me so much. There's just, there's no words that can express how much she inspires me. She was my second subscriber to the video. I'm so excited. I had to text my friend who was the first one. I may have coerced her. Probably not though. She's a good friend. Um, I really kind of want to go here. But that's really kind of clashy with that. And it's not a good clashy. I'm alright with being clashy. Just, hmm. You know, had that been book page, it would have been fine. To what was I thinking? Damn, Jim. Maybe I'll put that there. That looks all right. I'm going to ink it. And this is one of Roxy Creations and Rachel's papers. Her and her husband, Steffi, do such an amazing job. So very amazing. You really, really need to go over and check her channel out. And you need to go check her Etsy shop out. Well, I don't have all of her papers. I have all of her new papers. Um, sorry for my reach. And they're just amazing. It's, it's all I can say is they're, it's, they're just amazing. Alright, if you're wondering why I'm using this book and it has such a nice patina, well, it's a doll book. It's a book on dolls. And they're like baby dolls. Baby dolls are slightly to mostly creepy in my book. So, you know, I just... And it's a nice big glue book. And... I like this glue book better than I do a book to use for for, for my journals. Alright, so that's kind of pretty. I mean, I could have put a pocket there. I could have made that a pocket. But I didn't. I'll probably, I don't know. Ooh, that's just clashy enough, isn't it? Again, it sucks this blue paper. I have to stop using that blue paper. I won't. All right. So now, then, now we need. She put a piece. No. I know I'm kind of jumping from the front because that's what this is. This is the front, and then this is the back. I keep jumping back and forth, back and forth. But, um, I might have a tad bit of a. Of ADHD and that's how we roll. Alright, so this one here I'm gonna 
snip this as well. It's not straight. You know, I'll just cut it off. I'll cut it off later. And that one there, I'm just going to leave until I get it covered. Alright, how about some collage paper? Now this one here, I think this paper on the bottom, I would like it to wrap around to the back side. So let's, let's cut. Because I'm going to have the pocket open from the top. Where's my art glitter glue? So the pen, so I don't lose it. I have pen cushion. I just put it in that pen cushion. Because otherwise, your girlfriend right here, she'll lose it. Yep, I'll lose it. it it's one of those things. I don't mean to, but it happens. I'm just kind of guessing because this envelope is torn a bit in places here. Worst case scenario, I have to go in to the inside and use my use my um, ruler to open things up. You know what I'm going to do with this? I am just going to wrap this one because. I just don't want to be bothered. And when the journal is all finished, you know, nobody's going to see this. This is, this is base. This is like the foundation. Well, okay, I shouldn't say like, like it like that because, you know, foundations of houses, you can see those. And if they're not in good shape, then the house is in good shape. But this isn't that kind of foundation I put. Good lord. Alright, let's put the pen back in there. Otherwise, that gets goopy. Okay, so what would I like down here? I know what I would really like is a piece of book page. And this feller. So we're not going to put this guy on, on this sheet. We're going to put him on this one because of this blue right here. It's all this blue's fault. Look at there's some light right there. No white. So we're just going to ink that up right there. That is one nice thing about ink is it hides all sins. All sins. Of, of where you should be cutting. Or where that should have come down to. I don't know that I really like that. We'll just, we'll just do a little snip snip. Do some surgery on that. Alright, and I'm thinking the signatures in this will probably have, oh, probably four or five pages, whole pages a piece, so that'll give us like ten sheets, ten pages per signature, so that'll be 40 pages in this little tiny journal. That's gonna, she's gonna be chunky. She's gonna be a chunky little monkey. Maybe I'll only put three in each one. Three times four, that'd be 12. No. 12 times two, that'd be 24 pages all together. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So we might do that. Right, what's this? Oh, how about some book pen, or some dictionary page right there. That sounds like a wiener. Wiener, wiener, chicken dinner. You know, so I sent that in my last video. Well, I think it's the video that I am deleted because wow. That's all I can say is wow. Um, and I've been trying to think of it all day and do you think I could? No. No, that's not how my brain works. My brain, my brain hates me on a daily basis. Makes me sound like I've been drinking. Makes my left foot drop sometimes. Well, not necessarily drop, but drag. And let me tell you, it's, oh, you know, it's it's the same color as that that one over there. I don't know that I like that. Oh, what about this one? 
this one. This one here looks pretty good. Oh, I was going to use this as a... Okay, so I'm just going to tear this off right there because this would make an awesome journal card. It's an advertisement for Rough Riders. For Rough Riders Weekly. And it has a cowboy with some like longhorn cattle and yeah the west see look there's the what it's a cowgirl she's rescuing the man king of the wild west helping hand or sell the girl range rider so this here must be the king of the wild west and this is his helping hand, Stella. Well, but it's pretty cool. That'll make an awesome journal page or journal journal card. So I'm going to put that over in those other book pages that we were looking at earlier. So, well, well no. I want a whole sheet of paper there. Let's just bring over this and see what I have here. I have this white. White? Do I want to use white? No, not really. It's just, ooh, what is this? Well, that's pretty close to that color. I want that color. I want a lighter or a dark. Or I could use piano music too. This was already in. No, I turned out of a journal. I'll put it on top. Okay, let's see. What else do I have in here? I thought oh, there's the sea. I don't know why I tore that out. Oh well. Ooh, what about this one? That one looks kind of cool. It's all tight. Or I could use a pattern. That would be cool too. Look at G and H stamps. Hmm. It's red paper. That's what that is. That's what we shouldn't choose red paper. Just saying. It's this paper. Hmm. Well, well, I like that paper. There's not enough. Suppose since I am. Ooh, that one is big enough. Let's look at that. Goodness gracious, alive. No, that's still not quite big enough, but I could just put it here, tear it, and then put something else down on the bottom here. I could do that. That would be all right. Must have the ruler the right direction. So many finicky things. Goodness. Oh, see, that's really right where it went. Well, I could use that. Okay. I'm going to put these papers right on top just in case I want to use them. And I, yes, I am going to use this side. So I You know what? It's hotter than Hades in my craft room. We have swamp cooler. Swamp coolers are generally the best to use in High Plains Desert, which that's what Wyoming is. And that's where I'm from. Or that's where I live. That's not where I'm from. Well, I'm a transplant. I'm like a 40-year-old trans... 40... I've been here 40 years. So I suppose you could say that I was from Wyoming. Um, but it's hot. I'm telling you. Holy cow. 
And of course, my multi-purpose area here is in the middle of the house. So it doesn't get swamp cooler. And even if I had an air conditioner, it wouldn't work in this room because this room literally is so to the west of this room is living room. To the east is the back hallway and laundry room. To the south is a hallway and my husband's bedroom. And then to the north is what would normally be the master bedroom, but which is my husband's office. He gets like six times as much space as I have. It's so unfair. So unfair. I don't think he realizes how unfair I find that. But, oh. Well, Again, it is what it is. Sorry. Sorry, I'm going to jiggle you some. So sorry. Because I saw some paper. That's cardstock. That's what I'm going Because that would be really pretty right there. Right there. Hmm. She says, fan. Oh, that is fabulous. All right. Time in to cover this. No. We're going to stop right here because I'm not for sure how long we've been. And I'll come back to this tomorrow. And for, or later. And that'll be next the next video. That's, we didn't get very far, did we? Goodness. But let's see how long we've been, we've been taping because, you know. Oh my, it's been an hour. Alright, so we're done for today. I will come back in the next video and I will will cover this and this and this. Hopefully hopefully the next five pages we will cover. Um they should be pretty easy. So that's what we'll do. So I'll sign it off for now. I'll talk to y'all later and um, if this is your first time, welcome. Make sure you hit that like, the like button, and the subscribe, and um, we'll hopefully see you soon. Thanks. Bye.